In this video, I'll be creating an Amazon Elastic File System storage and attach it to a Linux server. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now for free tutorials and computer related tips. And now, let us get started. First, log into your AWS console and search for EFS service inside AWS service search box. Then after login and choosing the EFS, just select create EFS. Then select the VPC and the availability zones you want to enable for your EFS. And be sure to attach the security group which has the NFS port open. So for this tutorial, I opened the port NFS 2049 and the SSH for that security group. So now I'm going to choose the security group that I want for all the availability zones, which is 11. Select next. And after that, you can add tags. Like for example, you can say storage and you say like this is going to be for the production environment. You can choose max IO if EFS will be attached to 20 or over 100 instances with high frequency access. Otherwise, just choose the general purpose. Select next step. Review the configuration and then click on create file system. It's going to take some time to be created in all zones and it's going to show creating in the lifecycle state column. When it's done, it's going to show available in green. To mount the EFS on EC2 instance, first you need to copy the DNS name which is going to be used in your instance. Then connect to your EC2 instance and for this tutorial I'm using Red Hat 7 server. First start by installing the NFS utilities by running yum install nfs utils now i'm going to create a folder and i'm going to call it efs and this one going to work as a mounting point for the efs that we've just created to mount the efs we need to run the mount command and then specify the type which is going to be nfs4 and then we put the dns name and the name of the folder that we've just created and after the dot com here just place the double dots and the slash and hit enter if you want to have that mount permanently or running automatically whenever you reboot you need to mount it inside the etc fs tab just add the DNS name and the folder name and then just add the type which is going to be NFS4 as we add it and then it's going to be an add dev and place 00 and save the file. To confirm that the mount is there just run df minus ht t capital and put the folder that we've created. And you're going to find it pointed to the EFS that we created. That's it for today, guys. Until we meet again, bye.